So, hello and welcome to another flight report. Today I'm in Delhi, India's beautiful capital, and I'll be flying Jet Airways on the Airbus 330 in business class. So it's my first time flying an Indian carrier, and I wanted to introduce their business class product to you. What is the seat like? What is the in-flight entertainment like? And the food. So, since it's also my first time uh, flying with an Indian airline, I want to know from you what is your favorite airline in India and why. So please let me know in the comment section below whether you like. Air India, Jet Airways, SpiceJet or Indigo because I want to find out which Indian airline I should try next. Um, but now I'm excited to introduce Jet Airways to you, so let's go to the gate. So as you could probably see, I was very excited actually about trying Jet Airways because India is such a hospitable country and I was expecting no less from their airline. But even previously, I've always heard that headlines about jet airways as you could just see in the video but i'm also aware of the fact that you can't entirely judge an entire airline by just a single flight i'm also aware of this but this video just shows my experience on that very day on jet airways So just a few weeks before I went on the flight, I started a poll on my Instagram account asking you guys whether I should try Air India or Jet Airways. And the majority of you guys actually wanted me to fly Jet Airways. So this is where it starts. This is my trip to Mumbai. So let's not mention the welcome I didn't receive at the door and neither the grumpy face of the cabin crew at the door. But let's for now, focus on the seat and this is what it looks like you have 18 seats in business class on the Airbus 330 in a very different layout So the Airbus itself was 10 years old and has always been in service with Jet Airways. Just for a short period of time, it was operating for Etihad. But I reckon that the airplane has never really been changed. Neither was the layout because the seat was extremely worn out and literally nothing was working. But let me go more into details a little later. So let me introduce the worst airline seat I've ever experienced on an Asian airline and we start right with the reading light behind you and a bit of storage space just to your left. Um, here in the seat pocket you have a magazine and the safety card as well as a bottle of water. So this is the menu and this is a little hook where you can put your jacket and this is the TV which needs to be tucked away during takeoff and landing which reduces the time which you will actually be able to use the entertainment. Anyways it was really hard to get out because I think they haven't really maintained it in a long time and in fact it wasn't working throughout the entire flight but more to about that a little later. Those are your seat controls where you can put your bed in a full flat position and this foldable table which was also extremely hard to get out. So and this is the remote control which I couldn't really use to try because the entertainment system was dysfunctional throughout the entire flight. So you just saw another uh, reading light and uh, those newspapers. Um, behind the newspapers you had the USB slot which of course wasn't working and the power socket neither was that working and the window right behind your seat.
So whenever I document my flights, I'm extremely respectful about who I film and whether the uh, crew wants to be on the video. So otherwise I will blur their face because I respect everybody's privacy. And even before the flight, I mentioned Jet Airways on my Instagram and they said they were actually very much looking forward to see my video review until this very moment right here where the crew told me if I don't stop filming, there will be severe consequences and I will no longer be serviced. I have absolute respect for her concern about privacy or whatever else it was, but I don't think it is nice to insult your customers uh, because she could have just said it in a very nice way, which she didn't do at all. However, let me tell you that the food was actually extremely delicious and I have absolutely no complaints about the catering. So let's talk about the onboard entertainment or the lack of it because in fact it wasn't working throughout the entire flight um, for whatever reason. When I went to the cabin crew and asked why the entertainment wasn't working um, because I would love to watch a movie, she said simply, I don't know. But the onboard entertainment wasn't the only thing that wasn't working. The USB slot here was broken probably for many years already as you could see. And the power plug just to the right um, was also dysfunctional as you could see. My phone wasn't charging at all. But also the aircraft was in a complete disgusting state. Everything was filthy and hasn't been cleaned and even in the galley where your food was prepared, the worlds were sticky and dirty and there are no excuses for that. I mean, I've been flying on airlines which have been banned from European airspace such as Safi Airways from Afghanistan for example and their aircrafts were in a better stage and better maintained than this Jet Airways Airbus A330 and there are simply no excuses for this. So let me try up to sum up my experience with Jet Airways and as I said before it's hard to judge an airline just on a single flight, however my experience was extremely disappointing. The aircraft was very dirty, it was badly maintained, nothing was working, the crew was extremely rude, no real passion and and overall I can say I didn't really feel welcome at any time. Um, I really loved the food, the food was great but after I found out where the food was prepared and that the galley was so um, dirty and disgusting and like <laughs> hygiene wasn't really existing I was also a bit disappointed. However I probably wouldn't fly them again because of my experience but I also would love to give them another try. However I, I hope you liked my video and don't please don't take it personally. I love India, it's a great country and if you loved my review please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and please follow me on Instagram because there's a lot of new um, videos following. So thank you so much for watching and I really hope that my next flight on an Indian carrier is going to be way better. Thank you and goodbye.